Hello, I'm Ned Goodhead, and welcome to the Love Hate Debates. In the hot seats tonight, we have Faye Freely, leader of the Love Party, and Steve Heaving of the Hate Party. Miss Freely, if I could start with you. You've made health a cornerstone of your campaign and has gone so far as to suggest it should be on the NHS. Absolutely, Ned. I mean, the NHS has lots of really cool things, so why not have Marmite too? It's uh, full of B vitamins. Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've, that's, never, that's never been proven. Yes, it has. Who cares? B vitamins, what do they do? Nothing. That's what I've heard. Well, no, anyway. They're an absolutely <clears throat> vital part of keeping a human healthy and well. OK, OK, could we leave vitamin B for the moment. Miss Freely, you stipulate that Marmite is environmental, I believe. Oh, absolutely, Ned. Being a natural part of the brewing process, you could say it is the environment. Rubbish. Rubbish. Mr Heaving, you disagree? I, I, I do disagree. In fact, I've got, I've got my own uh, research on the uh, urine tests of uh, Marmite eaters uh, th uh, that shows that uh, Marmite was present in the urine. Uh, <coughs> and uh, this means, if you think about it, this stuff is going back into the water supply. And all I'd say is, well, just think of the fish, basically. I mean, is, is there any wonder that there's no cod in our rivers? M <coughs> Mr. Heaving, do you actually know anything about the environment at all? Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. I do. Well, perhaps you could tell me your predicted idea for the CO2 emission level for 2020. Well, look, I don't, have to, I don't have to pass these ridiculous tests of yours, Ms. Freely. Do you know what a coot is? <coughs> or an ocelot? Look, I, I don't have to or take Or how this. many feathers a Chilean condor has? You call me all the names you want, but I, I don't have to stand here and take this kind of abuse. Where does all this hatred come from, Mr. Heaving? <coughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, I, don't try well, your something... cod psychology with me, uh, Ms. Freely. Uh, no, no, I, I believe something happened to you, and I'm guessing it was in your childhood. <clears throat> Would you like to talk about it, Mr. Heaton? Look, if this is about the time that I was stripped naked and covered in Marmite and locked in, the, in a closet at my boarding school, uh, I, I, I think it's disgraceful that you should even allude to such a personal... Well, this is an entirely new story. I haven't read about this in the press. No. Have you not? I mean... No. Done it well, time. that's because it's not true. Those allegations that... That weren't that, um, in the press. I'm, I'm just, I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. I really am. But I've had, I've had enough of this. This Have is you? ridiculous. Well, I'm, How do I get please, this thing you're weakening your How own do I get case. This? He's slightly well. tearing up, I think. It's obviously, I've obviously hit a nerve, but... Uh, well, why? obviously this wraps it up for this week. Nerve, so shut up. Uh, please, Mr Heaving, manners, please. I'm sorry, that seems to wrap it up for this week. Please join us again next week for the next love-hate debate when the subject will be the important subject of defence funding. Should we or should we not divert our entire defence budget into reallocation of research and development into Marmite lollipops? I'm Ned Goodhead. Good night.